Happy Monday and Happy New Year. Welcome, welcome to Craft With Us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Winchester Public Library. Most everybody calls me Miss B, not because we're formal in any way, just because it's easier to say. All right, my friends, for those of you who picked up our craft bags, let's get crafting. And for those of you who weren't able to grab them today, this one is relatively easy to make do with what we've got uh, going on uh, today. So you pretty much can pretty much find anything around the house. I just said pretty much twice, but you know what I mean. Um, and a big announcement for those of you who didn't stop by today, uh, but might another day, uh, we now have 60 craft bags. We've doubled our craft bags because we, um, because this is such a popular program. So thank you everybody for making it so popular. Uh, so now we have 60 bags and we're going to be doing this program every Monday unless we're closed for holidays um, from now until May. So thank you for joining us and thank you for promoting this program. All right. So my friends, today we are doing a walking polar bear. It's a big one, friends. I hope you're ready. I've done some of the prep work before and I'll do some of it with you right here. All right. So in your bag, you should have gotten a pom-pom, some googly eyes, some construction paper, a glue stick, a black marker, a template for the head and body, a straw, and a cotton ball. So friends at home who didn't grab our craft bag or maybe trying to make do with what you have at home, you don't really need the googly eyes. If you do have a marker, you can draw on the eyes. Um, the cotton ball is fun for a tail, but if you don't have it, that's fine. The template, it's it's basically just a little bit of folding. So I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what to do. Um, but like I said, you can pretty much make do with um, what you've got at home as long as you've got some craft paper. And we're making a polar bear, so it's white. But again, if you want to make a different color bear, that's totally up to you. All right. So first and foremost, my friends, there should be two pieces of paper in your bag if you picked up a bag. There's one that's a color and one that's white. So the color is the template, although if you wanted to make a fuchsia or green or I can't remember other colors that I use, polar bear, go right ahead. It's your polar bear. Do whatever you want, but cut out your template. And for the friends who weren't going to join us today, I gave exact pieces. So you'll see there are four legs, two ears, a head, and a body. They're only, you only need to use a couple of pieces. You can use the same leg twice and the head and the ears and so on and so on. Uh, but I wanted to make sure all of our friends knew exactly how many pieces they needed if they couldn't join us on Instagram right now. So that's why that was the method to my madness. Okay, friends, so cut out your template. So use your scissors and young friends, if you've got your grown up with you, maybe let them do some or you do some or just have them help you out a little bit. Make sure we're doing our good cutting. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna do our body first. So you want to trace your body, your template onto the white paper, just like that. Okay. And then cut it out. And there are some dashed lines here. So after you cut out your body part, just make a little mark. See, like I did right there, a little mark right there and right there because we're gonna do some folding. And if you wanna practice your folding on your template first, that's okay, that's a good thing to do. So you'll see, I'll show you on our template. We're gonna fold and then we're gonna fold again because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our polar bear's body and I'm gonna now go do it with the white part. That's what it's gonna look like, okay? So make sure you cut out all your pieces. You've got four legs, two ears, a head, and a body. Okay, so once you cut out your template and trace your pieces, then you should have your four legs that are white, your body, and then I haven't done my head and my ears yet. So let's do those together. I've got my mustache pencil. Let's get ready to rock. Okay, so I'm gonna trace my head right here in the middle. There we go. And then I've got a little leftover piece of paper, so I'm gonna trace my ears, and we need two of them, right? Polar bears, for most of them anyway, they've got two ears. Again, if you only want your polar bear to have one ear, that's okay, you can. But mine's gonna have two. 
Okay. So there we go. Traced them. And now let's cut them out, okay? All right. And then I'll show you what everything looks like before we assemble, okay? And do your best cutting. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Just do your best, okay? And now let's do our ears. One and two. Okay. There we go. All right. So for our polar bear pieces, now once we're done with the templates, we should have a head, two ears. Oop. Move my instructions over here. The body. And four legs. Okay? Four legs. Right there like that. Okay? All right. We're going to move over to the legs in a second. But let's give our polar bear body some time to dry. So in your bag, you should have a glue stick. Grab your glue stick. And we're going to put some glue... I'll show you first and then I'll glue it. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. We need this part to be the bottom. So we're gonna glue, you wanna put your glue right here all on this fold, okay? Lots of glue on the fold. Okay, there, purple glue. And then put it right here. that. There we go. We got our polar bear body. Now just set it down and let it dry. Okay? Let it dry. This bee's going to wipe the glue because otherwise it's going to end up on the hand. Okay. So we need four legs for our polar bear. So we're going to do what's called an accordion fold. Okay? You can do it either way. We're gonna make our polar, this is what they look like right here, okay? So we've rounded off one edge, we've given him some toes. So you take each leg and you just fold back and forth. See? And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Back and forth so that the legs have some spring to them. And there's gonna be a little piece left over and that's okay. There we go, see? You do that with each one. And so if one that's a little bit, the end that's a little bit bigger, we take our scissors again. Maybe try this yourself or let your grown up help you, your choice. We just round off the end a little bit to make a paw. Just a little bit. There we go, okay, scissors down. Move your scraps away. And then we reach into our bag again for our marker. And we just do some polar bear toes. There we go. Some polar bear toes. Just like that, just a couple of dashes. Okay, we put our marker down. My table's a little wobbly, so it's helpful for me to keep them in the bag so they don't go rolling everywhere. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Let's glue our legs onto our polar bear. Okay, so this right here is the bottom of your polar bear, friends. So you're gonna wanna put one leg in each corner so that the polar bear legs hang down, okay? Back into my trusty bag for my glue stick. We wanna do like this, all right? Put your glue on. And then this is one of those things where we do want to make sure your toes go in the right direction. So if your fold here is in the wrong place, that's okay. Just fold it the other way, okay? So that we make sure all of our paws are going in the right direction. 
If you don't, that's okay. You can always just draw on to the other side too and have paws on, it's fine. It's totally fine. But just make sure if you want your polar bear to be all walking in the same direction, just give yourself a nice flat bottom here so that all of your toes are pointing in the same direction. Okay? We've got two. Are we ready? Okay. And now we've got two more. I'm gonna face all the same way. I'm gonna set him down for a second so I can put glue on my other ones. There we go. Like so. There we go. Got three. I'll lay him down and do one more. Okie dokie. We're getting there, my friends. Okay. Whoop. Four legs. There we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. All right, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay down right here for a minute. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Now we get our cotton ball. You want to make it fluff up a little bit. This part's a little bit tricky. What I would suggest that you do is you kind of wrap it around, like, like make a little, like pull it apart a little bit like this and put a little glue so you've got your polar bear tail and you can just kind of hang off the edge so you can kind of go underneath, okay? So just stick your glue stick right in there, swirl it around, and then polar bear tail. You have to hold on to it for a little bit. And if a little piece comes off, you can go back and glue some more on. Just maybe let your polar bear sit upside down for a few minutes so that can dry. Okay. All right, so we've got the cotton ball. And now what we do is we go back to our handy dandy pen. We just color some ears, color in your ears a little bit. So you can do either a circle in the middle or a little bit of a U shape right there. We're gonna glue these right onto our polar bear head. And again, they don't have to be exactly the same. No two ears are exactly the same. There we go, okay. And then we take our glue again. We just put some glue on the back of our polar bear head. One, two dots, just like that. And then we take our ears like that. And if there's not enough black peeking out, that's okay, you can just add some. So I need to add some more, which is okay. Here are my ears, right there. Okay. Now we're gonna do our pom-pom. I'll show you what this is for in a minute. I gave myself some extra Google eyes. All right, so put a little bit of glue right in the middle here and we smoosh down our pom-pom. We just let it dry for a sec. We do the pom-pom first and give it a minute to dry. We take those Google eyes, and we put them on. Okay, like that. My back came off with my Google eye. See, there's pressure when the camera's on. So this is why I gave myself the whole sheet. There we go. That one worked. And then if you want, you can come down and give them a mouth. These googly eyes, man, a lot. They are just not cooperating today, are they? 
Come on, googly eyes, work for me. Okay, there we go. I think that one worked. Okay, there we go. There's our polar bear. Okay, now we're gonna pick him up again. We're just gonna glue them right on. And it's okay if you fold them under a little bit. That's okay. See, like that. See, give them a little fold and put some glue on it. Like that. Maybe a little extra glue. There we go. We're back. All right. We're having some Wi-Fi issues, my friends. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So there's our polar bear. All right. So while his head is drying, I might have not given myself enough of a tab. I got very excited about gluing them on. Okay, let me show you the last step, which involves some tape that I suggested that you have that Miss B did not grab. So, let me show you. So, the way it works is, and I'm gonna show you like this. You take your straw and you flip over your polar bear once he's totally dry i he's still a little floppy for me so he's not quite dry yet okay so and you put your straw underneath here with some tape like that and then he walks flopped over you probably need to give yourself a little more space than i did because his head is falling over there we go like that and he walks he walks and he walks and he walks and there's our polar bear just like that he walks and he walks and he walks all right so there is our polar bear sorry i did the let's see if i can fix him right here there we go there we go so there so just pretend i have some tape and i'm making him walk there we go there's our polar bear. All right, my friends, there's our polar bear. Thank you so much for joining me and my polar bear friend today. All right, remember, 60 craft kits now, 60. So you can come pick them up anytime, starting at 9 a.m. outside. Is he gonna sit here with me? Oh, he is. There he is. Uh, anytime, starting at 9 a.m., you can come to the side parking lot door and grab your craft bag. So we will be back next week with another fun and fabulous craft. So thank you everyone so much for joining me. Thank you for making polar bears with me this afternoon. And as always, my friends, be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and wear your mask. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.